Hey Capricorns, welcome back in. You're watching Sacred Santaro. This is going to be your reading for the month of October. End. Right. Let's see what are the energies here. What you need to hear. Mainly focusing on your love life or your love interest. Right. Somebody you're thinking of. Relationship, single, does not matter. What Capricorn needs to hear in their love life. In the upcoming time period, reverse the rules if needed, switch the cases. This may not be your reading entirely or may resonate in parts. As you're aware of somebody copying my videos, just making a note here. Do report against it. I'm sharing the link of that channel in the comment section. Please do report against that channel. The more flags the channel is going to get, the, the quicker YouTube is going to take an action over it. And thank you so much for coming out in numbers and supporting, right? Thank you so much. So, Capricorn. Capricorn all placements. The dream, the past lives, and the consciousness. Getting a sort of awareness about somebody. You share a very deep thing with this person, Capricorn, whosoever this person is you're thinking about. You're having a dream, you're having an emotion to be with this person. I don't know whether this is a kind of communication gap going on. But you both are not connected right now, right? You both are not... Uh, you both are not talking, maybe. Or this can be that this person is in a third-party situation. But you're thinking about them heavily and you just can't figure out why. Because there's a deep connection here. You can just... You know, sometimes we look at somebody and we get a strong emotion, a strong intuition that we have known this person and there was something that we have shared with them. Wow. Yep, it's a past life connection, sort of. And we have consciousness, something your intuition is telling you, which you need to heed off, which you need to be listening to. What about... What about the other person you're dealing with? What's happening with them? We have creativity, projections, and morality. Queen of Swords energy here. Can be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or a Taurus or a Libra with the Empress card. I see this person being very creative, very innocent, very, very beautiful energy. I see you both looking at each other, feeling some emotions for each other. But there's a distance here. Five of Pentacles energy. They're trying to come back to you. There's something which is separating you both right now. There's a wall in between, a door, I don't know. But there's something which is separating you both right now. I see this person coming from a very creative background. Maybe they are a very creative person or they're working in some kind of... Uh, they're doing some kind... Some similar kind of stuff here, right? And... Uh, some question on morality is also here where maybe you both are looking towards each other. I'm picking up that right now this person is in a condition that they can't come to you. Or maybe that's something that they just can't, right? They look at you, they can sense the emotion, they can sense the same feelings. But something is under question here. Alright, let's see what the tarot has to say for Capricorns. Capricorn or placements, what Capricorn needs to hear. Current energies, tarot. Eight of Wands in reversed, the Nine of Wands, and the Four of Pentacles. All right, so there's lack of communication, I feel. Some kind of problem, lack of communication. Four of Pentacles and Nine of Wands, you're very defensive about the situation, Capricorn. It's like, again, that feeling that you're building a wall. You're thinking heavily about this person, but you're still building a wall. No communication. I don't know, you are intentionally making them feel like an outsider or you're just very being, you're just being very protective of your heart right now. But very defensive energy. What is this person doing or what, what are their current energies? Page of Wands, Hermit and the Queen of Swords. Ouch. So yes, they... They might appear to be very casual from outside, as if they don't, they don't just care. 
Can you see Queen of Swords energy twice, Page of Wands with the creativity card? I feel that this person, I see them coming from a very uh, creative background or something like they're doing something, some kind of art in their hands. Very casual energy to start with. But when you dive deeper, you can see a very serious, very emotional, very uh, deep kind of person thinking about the broader questions of life. Uh, and they're sitting at a very cold position. I see this person coming from a point where they're cutting out something from their life. And because of that, they are uh, they have turned a bit cold. Some kind of ending that has recently happened in their life, right? So what are you feeling for them? What are your true emotions for this person? Five of Swords, Three of Swords, Knight of Cups. You want to talk, isn't it? But something happened and it's just in your head. It's clumsy, it's messy. There are multiple thoughts, overthinking, feeling heartbroken. And you're just thinking about those moments when, when this person acted cold. They did not talk to you properly or they said something. There's lack of communication. There's lack of properly sitting and talking. Right? There's a need of talking, I feel. And you're feeling heartbroken. And maybe that's the reason why you're just so defensive because you're protecting your heart. You do want communication. Can be water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. What else? What is this person feeling for you? Queen of Wands. Oh my God. And we have the strength. They're resisting the urge to come up to you and talk to you. They do want to. They have big passion for you. Uh, it's like you both have a very romantic kind of vibe and emotion for each other. You want to talk. They want to talk. You want to explore it. They want to explore it. But the problem is that you both are holding back. Some bad experience I'm picking up. Something because of which things did not work out. Poor communication. Poor expression for some of you but this thing has a very beautiful potential and they're just resisting both of you resisting the communication but there's love there's attraction there's passion where is the situation heading in the upcoming days nine of pentacles beautiful temperance healing enjoying ten of wands releasing the past burdens laying off the burden and moving forward in a very positive direction very positive manner Healing, Capricorn. Three of Swords with the Temperance. This combination is very good because it shows me that you're coming out of that pain. Whatever whatever you've been through, right? You're becoming independent of those energies and you're enjoying your stuff. Nine of Pentacles, this is your energy. Temperance, coming out of the heartbreak, healing, releasing everything. I see a halo here. I see consciousness here growing, releasing the burdens. Very nice. We also have the lovers. So it can be a point where you're coming to a choice in love. What is this person doing? What is this person doing now? Ten of Cups, Nine of Swords and Three of Wands. They do think about you a lot. They do think about you a lot. And for some of you, I'm picking up that they've recently released a connection in their life. Or they have recently just met a breakup. And they're trying to move on. They're trying to move forward with the Three of Wands energy. Beautiful energy. They're looking for some new, fresh hope in their life. And I think you can be, you know, Capricorn, again, that energy that you both are coming from different situations, had different experiences, uh, can be some heartbreaking situation that you have recently experienced and some kind of tough past that this person has experienced. But this is going to be a beautiful encounter of destiny. And you both are coming closer. Right now, I feel you both are not ready, right? You have to release so many things and you have to heal. And this person also needs some healing, some, some kind of uh, relaxation here, right? Let me see where is the situation heading. Let us have a, a different deck and take some cards for the connection.
Capricorn or placements. Where is this connection heading? Wow, we have something. Give me a second. We have nine of pentacles here. So this can be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Or this simply can be your energy. And the tower. Unexpected. Unexpected. Something very unexpected about to happen. What is that about? We have the Queen of Swords, the Four of Swords, Two of Rods, what else? What is this Queen of Swords energy? Alright, cutting out something from your life in order to look for this person or make space for this person. You know what, I'm picking up that there was a very short-lived fling that recently happened in your life. There was something very short-lived, very passionate, but it did not work out. And it's not about this person, it can be in recent past something happened and we have the queen of pentacles you're definitely moving towards stability you're making choices making your terms clear queen of swords queen of swords morality card i think some things need to be discussed before you both come close to each other you make you need to make your terms clear here you both need to talk you both need to open up but this person is not doing that what is this four of swords energy for them temperance okay both need healing oh uh, should I put it this way? I'm picking up that for some of you, this is like two broken souls coming together, coming near each other. Destiny is probably bringing them together because they need to heal each other. Wow. What is this two of rods energy? Page of rods, yes, you're calling them the world and the nine of swords. All right. Some things have to end in order to have this new beginning with the Ace of Pentacles, Capricorn. Things are messy, right? You both have your own set of experiences which are troubling, overthinking. A lot of overthinking is going on. You have a lot of things to do. They have a lot of things to do. You both are just avoiding the connection. I'm even picking up a very weird situation or an encounter where... You both just come close to each other, face to face, look at each other, uh, look into their eyes. You both look into each other's eyes and just don't say anything and pass by, right? Because lack of communication, lack of expression of what you're feeling. And my throat is becoming heavy, so maybe there's a problem in communication here. Something is coming to an end, but it is on purpose. Universe has a purpose here, right? Let's have some advices. Advices for Capricorn. And then we're going to wind up the reading. What Capricorn needs to hear or what advice Capricorn needs. Recovery. Again, a very strong emotion of healing coming out of something that was very heartbreaking and emotionally distorting. We also have don't stop you are on the right path you're about to encounter something very beautiful in your life whatever painful experience i'm picking up that just recently you had a very bad experience a very short-lived passionate bad experience that has really given you some bad memories and you're thinking about it past lives this card also shows me that you had some kind of karmic connection with somebody and it was a very short-lived small connection but it had a lot of a lot of lessons that you had to learn right and you're coming from that situation very guarded very protective of yourself not really opening up what else what else ask for help from others we also have romance so there's definitely a chance of building up this romance there's definitely a chance of uh, initiating something igniting that fire and having something together but i think you both need help from others by that i mean that it can be some kind of counseling some good suggestions maybe some kind of mediation that somebody can help for better communication between you both only if you can rely on somebody i rather feel that uh, this situation really really needs com communication that clear communication that is missing right because it has a big potential two of cups energy vibe here big potential romance what else what else for capricorn You are ready, Capricorns. You're ready. If you're feeling that I'm not ready, I'm still healing. I don't need to. I don't need any 
new burden on on my head i don't need any new emotional um, something in my life because i've recently been through a roller coaster no universe is saying that you're ready whatever you've been through it was just a lesson and a part of life and that phase is getting over you're about to be with somebody who is actually a better human being good somebody who's having good moral values somebody who is uh, releasing something in their life and uh, they want to have this 10 of cups with you but right now they're not ready because they are dealing with some other stuff you're ready and they're also getting ready you both are about to encounter each other i don't know whether you already know this person or not but yes there's a big potential of a connection in future so i'm picking up that this is going to be a beautiful encounter of destiny romance here again anything else for capricorn anything else for capricorn please peaceful resolution take action and opportunity we have whole lot of beautiful cards a year from now get for, get more information capricorns this is actually a very beautiful reading like we have a set of very beautiful cards here peaceful resolution take action and opportunity whatever miscommunication and poor communication you both have i think this can be this can sort out the things can actually be worked out right and uh, i pick up very very rude and rough energy for this person for maybe in this time period but i think you are recovering from whatever you have experienced recently and this person needs a bit more time to come at the same point where you are or maybe come at the same stage right and look eye to eye with you so i think the situation this possibility of a peaceful resolution if you find good people who can mediate in between or somebody who can give a good suggestion in this connection a counselor or i don't know who but there's possibility there's possibility of recovering this connection and uh, if this is a new connection then there's a possibility that you both can actually come together and bring in a very beautiful come into a very beautiful union provided you release your past experiences and take them as lessons and let them go and this is valid for both of you so overall it's a very beautiful reading i would just call it that two broken that two broken souls are coming together to heal each other wow very very soothing energy very soothing energy right so this is your reading for this time period thank you so much for watching bye bye